I'm Hilary Mulek, a wedding photographer based in the Carolinas, and welcome back to another episode on my YouTube channel. This week, I'm gonna be talking about my number one biggest tip to photographing portraits in overcast weather. So it is no secret that photographing clients in overcast lighting is the easiest type of natural lighting you can photograph clients in. Everything is really filtered because the sunlight is coming through clouds, so there's no harsh spots anywhere. You can really put your clients anywhere and get really beautiful photos. Now onto the bad thing about overcast lighting. With overcast lighting, sometimes you get really dark days, the clouds are really dark, the light is really filtered, and if you are photographing your couples on an overcast day that looks like that, you may find that your couples look really flat, there's no dimension on them, and their skin tones might look kind of muddy. So my tips in this video are going to help prevent that. So as a natural light photographer myself, I generally lean towards backlight and side light. Those are my main types of lighting that I like to utilize on engagement sessions, wedding days, family portraits. Anytime I'm photographing something outside, I lean towards having my couples backlit so they get that really beautiful glow behind them or side lit so that they get a really beautiful glow on one side of them. And then it keeps their face and their skin tone super even even by having backlit having them backlit or side lit by the sun. You, however, cannot do this on darker overcast days because when you are putting the light source, when the light source is not very strong to begin with, when you are putting that light source behind your couple, that's when you're gonna get those muddy, really flat, non-dimensional figures and skin tones in your photos. So my number one biggest tip on how to prevent this is on those darker overcast days, I want you to turn your clients towards the light source. So even though it's overcast, the sun is still somewhere above the clouds in the sky. And there are multiple apps that you can use to figure out where the sun actually is in the sky without seeing the sun. And then I want you to point your couples in that direction so that the sunlight is illuminating their faces. And again, it's an overcast day, so the sunlight is going to be filtered through those clouds, but it's gonna be pointing your couples towards that light Light source so that it really illuminates their skin, makes their skin nice and glowy, and it's going to make it so that you don't get those muddy skin tones and that you don't get that non-dimensional lighting. It's going to give you a really beautiful glowy light on their skin if you point your couples towards the light source on overcast days. I hope that tip was helpful. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in more posing tips, I have a free guide down in the description below how to get a variety of photos with just one pose. It's my secret to actually keeping my couples calm and relaxed by actually posing them less throughout a session, but still getting a huge variety of photos for their final gallery. And you can find that free guide down in the description below. And I will see you again next week for another episode here on my YouTube channel. See you then. Bye.